hardly anyone will disagree that the Rolex Daytona is one of, if not the most iconic watches in all of timekeeping history due to the pristine craftsmanship and unwavering reliability. A vintage watch model can be seen sold for hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. Over time, the watch achieved the title of the ultimate chronograph, which basically meant whenever people talked about chronograph wristwatches, a Rolex Daytona was at the tip of their tongue. However, as you can tell, this was not always the case, which begs the question, how did the Rolex Daytona become such an iconic timepiece? Let's take a trip back in time and understand how and why in our video today. Rewinding back to 1962, the early examples of the Rolex Daytona were first known as a Cosmograph and got coined officially as the Cosmograph Daytona in 1963, a year after Rolex became the official timekeeper of the Daytona International Speedway. In order to celebrate such an occasion, Rolex replaced the current Cosmograph Chronograph Reference 6234 with the 6239. Fast forward to the 70s and believe it or not, Rolex actually struggled to sell the Daytona watches and even went as far as to provide BOGO features just to get rid of them. Makes you wonder what went wrong or more time appropriately, what went right. The reason behind the fall of Daytona before its rise as a phoenix was more than one. And one of the core reasons behind the fall was the preference for the more classic variants of Rolex watches such as the Submariner or the Daydates and Rolex not having a reputation for crafting chronographs only made things more complicated since back then when talking about chronograph watches people would instantly think about Breitling or Zenith. However, over the course of time Daytona would eventually grab the attention of the general public and start growing into what it is today. The boost it needed was apparently a celebrity endorsement which happened through Paul Newman when he discovered a passion for motorsport while filming the 1969 action drama called Winning. The Hollywood icon started to race professionally after that and eventually ended up establishing his own racing team. After the release of the film, Joanne Woodward, his wife, gave him a Daytona 6239 as a gift. And as Paul began rocking the watch every day, it was only a matter of time till collectors and enthusiasts around him started to notice. Now, putting history aside, let's dissect the reason behind the popularity of the Rolex Daytona. With several factors contributing to the success of the watch, a few reasons stand out as the core elements such as the timeless design. There's a reason why a watch that has been first seen in the golden age is still going strong in 2023. The vintage models are more sought after today than ever and the modernized versions don't stray too far from the original due to the design being so iconic. With over 60 years echoing behind the Cosmograph Daytona, the design still remains the same which does not apply to the rest of the world, such as the design of automobiles from back then to now. With a sophisticated design that has an apparent immunity to time itself, this brings us to the next core element which is a status symbol. With a rich and sophisticated history such as this, popularity is not an issue whatsoever and even people who knew very little about watches can point out a Rolex when they see a Daytona. Very few brands in the watchmaker's pantheon have achieved such a recognizable status which led to Daytona being a true status symbol. Next up is the tried and true strategy of Rolex. It's not serendipity that created the Daytona but the strategy Rolex came up with which led them to create not just one but multiple watches that hold more or less the same status and iconic value. For the sake of identification, let's call this strategy evolution, not revolution. Like their peers, instead of being on a loop of constantly creating new or updated models, Rolex preferred to focus on what they have to begin with and with that religiously abstain from making dramatic changes to their models. What they do instead is constantly improve upon the performance and durability of the existing formula while keeping the core aesthetic in check. Celebrity endorsements go a long way for product advertisements and Paul Newman was just a prime example of that. During the 1980s, watch traders and enthusiasts nicknamed the watch Paul Newman wore Paul Newman Daytona and of course as a result, that particular model soared in popularity and transformed into a collectible watch enthusiasts and collectors would soon be paying a fortune for. In modern times, you can see a bunch of celebrities rocking the Daytona in a style that just further enhances the iconic status. Another thing is exclusivity. 
Back in the 90s, specifically the 2000s, the Daytona watches saw a huge surge in the popularity of their vintage variants. This surge caused a contagious amount of success for Rolex as every watch collector was just itching to get their hands on those and current Daytona models. In general, reference 116520 from Daytona is considered to be the first Daytona model where the demand was overwhelmed by the supply, which was highly unusual and completely unexpected by Rolex. However, the bomb was dropped in 2016 after the release of the stainless steel Daytona, reference 116500LN, which achieved legendary status and a testament to Daytona's reputation over the years. Another reason behind the success is the way Daytona holds on to its value. Most Daytona models can be sold for a lot more than the recommended retail price on the second-hand market and it's mostly because of the long waiting list these models have and the increasingly difficult act of acquiring them. Very few watches can hold their value as well as Rolex can, therefore it acts as a great bonus and is one of the reasons behind their ever-rising popularity. And all of these elements would have been easily dismissed if Rolex did not maintain quality which is at the core of all Rolex products and syncs with their focus on evolution. Their key focus has always been to craft a watch that won't last for mere years but generations while looking exactly like the day it was purchased even after 100 years. And with a proven track record of durability, robustness and longevity where it can tolerate extreme temperatures, harsh environments and massive shocks, vintage Daytona's sky-high price is pretty justified which only scales with their popularity. There are a lot of other reasons for the Rolex Daytona to be one of the most iconic, recognized and distinctive watches of all time. From the classic design to its status symbol that embodies a successful life, the Daytona has an international reputation and is sought after by watch enthusiasts all around the world. As ironic as it sounds, for an instrument to keep and track time, the Rolex Daytona is a timeless work of beautiful and refined craftsmanship that will echo for eons to come and who knows, maybe even longer. So that was a take on why the Rolex Daytona is so popular. Do let us know your thoughts on the Rolex Daytona as we would love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.